Hello everyone, and welcome to another Clash Clans video. Today, we're going to be looking at a new spin on the Queen Charge Miner attack strategy that I think is going to solve the biggest problem that Queen Charge Miners has, and that is the time fail. Let's look at an attack I did last war, and then we're going to do two attacks in the current war with the new iteration on this strategy to see how well it does, and if it is too powerful for the game right now. So as we've known in the Queen Charge Minor attack strategy, you have to spend a lot of time with the Queen Charge. You have to get a lot of value with the Queen Charge in order to have a chance with the Minor portion. The biggest thing that Queen Charge Miners requires most, almost exclusively, is taking down the Eagle Artillery, which takes a lot of time because it's usually well protected inside a uh, war base. Then once the Eagle is down, you can place all the Miners, and then it's just a matter of time. Well, in the last update, they added the new Siege Machine, the Siege Barracks, with at, which adds 40, which adds 70 new troop space that you can place on the map just at but it requires that you place it requires that you don't have a different siege machine so you don't have a stone slammer or anything but with the queen charge minor attack strategy there's not much you can do with a siege with a stone slammer that a siege barracks would not be able to do at all so like the biggest thing that you can do with a Siege Machine that's not the Siege Barracks is either destroying a bomb tower with a Stone Slammer, which isn't which isn't very likely that you would find a bomb tower that's that exposed that you can use a Siege Machine on it, or you could use a Wall Wrecker for the Queen Charge. But since we're using a Jump Spell for the Queen Charge, we don't need that either. So let's move on to the current war. And take a look at Queen Charge Miners with the Siege Barracks. So it's the same army. Two Rage Spells, two Freeze, a uh, Jump Spell, and two Heal Spells. And then we have Queen Charge and 30 Miners. And, and Funnel Troops. So we place the Queen at 9 o'clock. And she's going to be funneled into this area with the new defense and the royal champion that is where we're going to be play that's where we're going to be placing the jump spell in order to access the eagle and the inferno tower then we can place miners all along this side by the king and we play and we can place our siege barracks at the top and let the troops spawn and then inside the inside the the CC, which comes out after the Siege Barracks deploys all its troops, is going to be Hog Riders. The reason for that is that Hog Riders, unlike Miners, target defenses. So when the Hogs come out, they're going to know exactly where to go. And if we had anything else, then it would just get distracted by any other structures that are not defenses that might be closer. So at this point we've placed all the miners, we have the siege barracks, it's still, it's still spawning wizards, and now the hogs are coming out. Now they're, now they're going to go straight into the middle of the base because that's where all the defenses are. So now even with all the damage in the middle, the miners and the hogs are spread out just a little bit, so the new defense can't quite attack all of them. And the warden helps out a lot, and the warden health aura is helping out all of those troops. So this is completely crushed and doesn't have a real big time problem, especially because the BK is especially because the BK had its ability as well.
And let's move to the other half of my six pack this war. It'll be on number 10. And very, very similar attack. So we're going to go in from 2 o'clock this time, straight into an Inferno, and we're going to get the Eagle along the way. And then we're going to come in with the Miners around this area, wherever the Queen doesn't, wherever the Queen doesn't pick off with her Queen Charge, that's where we're going to, that's where we're going to start with the Miners. So probably by this cannon and over this side. And we're going to have the Siege Barracks at 6 o'clock. That's going to spawn the P.E.K.K.A. and Wizards. And we're also going to have the B.K. around that area too. So unfortunately I had to use the Queen ability on the Royal Champion. Just didn't quite realize how close the Royal Champion was. And how much extra damage there was in the area. So the Tornado Trap pushes the Queen away from the Tesla farm, which is very nice of it. It saved the raid, actually. And now the Queen's going to bury herself into the base and get the Eagle Artillery. So at this point, we're going to try to keep the Queen alive, but it's not a huge deal if she doesn't stay alive. And she attracts the enemy CC. Now we're going to place all the Miners on that side and let them work their way towards the Inferno and then towards the Town Hall. We place the King and the Siege Barracks for funneling and for extra troop space, extra DPS on the trash buildings. And these Miners avoid a lot of damage, so you don't need to use the heals very early. Unfortunately, the Warden got targeted pretty early, so had to use the automatic ability And now the hogs come out and are going to help out with the defenses in the middle of the base. They're actually on the side of this base this time. Because the miners are already in the middle and taking out the inside defenses, but there's still defenses on the outside that the hogs can help with. So at this point we have like 25-ish miners left, plus healers, plus hogs, and an extra heal spell. So even with a couple of upgraded defenses and low-level heroes for Town Hall 13, we're going to take out this base pretty easily. So go out there and use this attack strategy before it gets nerfed. I have a feeling it will be. But enjoy it while it lasts. I've been Raze Gaming, and I'm out.